Let's learn the state of the art in image classification in 2022. We'll find out what makes the most significant difference. In image classification, the input is an image and the output is a single class label like cat, dog, etc. Before we go over the state of the art models, let's learn about the ImageNet dataset on which image classification accuracy is reported. It is a dataset consisting of more than 14 million images with over 20,000 classes. A subset of this dataset was used in the ImageNet large scale visual recognition challenge between 2012 and 2017. This subset consists of 1.28 million training images with 1,000 classes. They also provide 50,000 validation images and 100,000 test images for reporting accuracy. There are two measures of accuracy. If the model is given only one guess to get the correct answer, the accuracy is called top one accuracy. On the other hand, in top five accuracy, if the correct answer or label is in the top five guesses made by the model, we consider the answer correct. The best top five accuracy currently is achieved by Florence Coswin H model by Microsoft with an accuracy of 99.02%. Compare that to humans who have an accuracy of 94.5%. That's astounding. Florence is a foundation model, much like GPT-3 in natural language processing. Florence can be easily adapted to various computer vision tasks like classification, image retrieval, object detection, visual question and answering, image captioning, video retrieval, and also action recognition. Florence uses a little extra data outside ImageNet. More precisely, it uses 900 million image text pairs. That's a lot of data. And a model like this cannot be trained by individuals like you and me, or even by small companies. These models are trained by large companies with a lot of computational resources at their disposal. So what is the best model that uses only ImageNet training set? It's called Fix Efficient Net L2. It achieves a top five accuracy of 98.7%, which is just shy of the Florence model. Of course, Fix Efficient Net L2 easily beats humans. God, we look like losers. The best part is that Fix Efficient Net L2 achieves the state of the art results by fixing the training protocol on an existing architecture called EfficientNet. And that's brilliant. Fixed EfficientNet also achieves the top one accuracy of 88.5% among all models that use ImageNet training data. But if we allow additional data outside ImageNet, the best performing model is model soups with an accuracy of almost 91%. Sadly, Fix Efficient Net L2's rank falls to number 21 if you allow additional data. Model Soups uses an exciting and unconventional approach to training models. Usually, we train multiple models with various hyperparameters and choose the model that performs the best on a held out validation set. You can do better by using a collection or an ensemble of models instead of using a single model. This approach usually improves accuracy, but now you need more memory and computational power because you're using multiple models. In contrast, model soups does not use multiple models. Instead, it averages the weights of various models fine-tuned with different hyperparameters. That means you do not need an ensemble and memory and computational requirements are that of a single model. So you can have your soup and drink it too. To summarize, we learned two important things from these state-of-the-art models. First, data matters. The more extensive and diverse your data set, the better you are likely to do. Large companies with enormous computational resources will win the foundation model war. But there is hope for the rest of us. We also learned that training protocols matter too. You can achieve a lot by carefully implementing the protocols suggested by papers like Fix Efficient Net L2. So that's all folks. This is Sacha Malik signing off, your guide to the fascinating world of computer vision and AI. Thank you.